Pistons hosting the Spurs, and the Spurs are three and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 239 and a half. The Spurs are minus 162 on the money line, and the Pistons are plus 136. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. As far as lineups are concerned, it's supposed to be Jones, Vassal, Champagne, Sachin, and Wembenyama, Hayes, Ivy, Bogdanovich, Livers, and Duran. And it looks like there's no Cunningham again. Now, lineups have not been confirmed. It's just who's supposed to be on the court. The NBA loves to confirm lineups 40 minutes before game time. Thank you to everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats, the games that I actually bet. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in there and I'll answer. That's going to be where I'm going to be most active to answer questions. I don't answer them in the social media comments. Head to head, the home team's on a five game winning streak. The home team is eight and two. The Spurs are seven and three. The favorite has won and covered the last two games they've played against each other. The favorite is nine and one against the spread, and the favorite is nine and one on the money line. The over is six and four, but the under 239 and a half is seven and three. This is their first meeting between each other this year. The Spurs are 1-9 and nine in their last 10. They are 5-5 five and five against the spread in those games, and the under is 5-4-1. They've covered their last three. There was a total of 235, 204, 246, and then 232. They lost by 33 to the Celtics, then they lost by 8 to the Grizzlies, then they lost by 4 to the Bucks, and then by 2 to the Cavs. For the Pistons, they are 1-9 and nine in their last 10. They are on a five-game losing streak. They are 5-5 five and five against the spread, and they are, the over is 8-2 and two in their last 10. There was a total of 302 points, 222 points, 245 points, and then 241 points. Uh, they lost by 6 to the Jazz, by 4 to the Warriors, then by 17 to the Nuggets, and then by 21 tonight to the Kings. It, it's a little bit of a misleading stat that these games have been going over because when you look at their opponents... That's probably the main reason why these games have been going over because of the level of competition that they've been playing. And without Cunningham, I don't know how many points they score. They scored 110 tonight. I'm going to take the Spurs with the money line. I'm going to take the Spurs laying the points, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.